And inside a California courtroom today, we heard new details about the chaotic scene around Michael Jackson as he lay dying. That critical 911 call and also questions about a cover up. ABC's Jim Avila is following the case moment by moment, and he was inside that courtroom today. Nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes, ma'am. Alberto Alvarez may be the key witness in the case against Michael Jackson's personal doctor. Bodyguard, head of the advance team, and first in the room where Dr. Conrad Murray was desperately working to bring their boss back to life. It was Alvarez who finally dialed 911. We have a, a gentleman here that needs help and he's not breathing yet. He's not breathing and he's not conscious, sir. the epic now? He's on the bed, sir. He's on the bed. Okay, there's on the floor. For the prosecution, Alvarez makes it clear the doctor, who is a cardiologist, is not doing CPR correctly, pumping his chest on the soft surface of Jackson's bed instead of the floor. And he puts Dr. Murray firmly in control of the scene. The doctor's the only one here. Okay, so the doctor see what happened? Uh, um, doctor, did you see what happened, sir? He's pumping, he's pumping the chest, but he's not responding to anything, sir, please. Alvarez rushes to Jackson's second floor bedroom minutes after Dr. Murray first called staff. He was laying on his back um, with his hands extended out. Dr. Murray tells him to call for an ambulance, but Alvarez is distracted by a scream. It's the children. They were right behind me, uh, and um, uh, uh, Paris screamed out, Daddy. So Alvarez rushes them out of the room and is about to call 911 when there's yet another delay. 15 minutes in all, as Dr. Murray asks him to do something else first. A critical request prosecutors contend shows Dr. Murray's guilt. He reached over and grabbed a handful of vials, and then he reached out to me and said, here, put these in a bag. Then Alvarez says Dr. Murray pointed to the IV bag and asked that it too be put away. Inside that bag was a bottle dripping a milky white liquid with the appearance of propofol. Just how valuable was the bodyguard's eyewitness testimony? Alvarez says he turned down a half million dollars for a TV interview, $200,000 from the National Enquirer, even though he hasn't been able to find a job since Michael Jackson died, and he's broke.